So let's take a look at GraphQL command line installation on Windows. Okay, so what I'm going to show you right now is uh, how to get your GraphQL installed on Windows with the help of command line. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to check Yarn or even your GitHub for process on installing GraphQL Play or command line interface on system. So first thing, go to yarn or even you can go to npm and type in GraphQL Play. Okay, now click on the result. Okay, and on the right hand side, you will find yarn and GraphQL Play command. So just open your command prompt and type here yarn then global add and then you can type in graph ql dash play okay if you choose to go through npm root you can do the same with npm install dash g graph ql dash go okay either way you will find that graph ql play will be installed okay i choose yarn method because i'm comfortable with yarn's method of installation and it's much more uh, quicker than a regular npm which often has errors and other issues so i'm using yarn for this next is to navigate to directory where i want to make use of graphql so by default when you type in graphql in command line should show you a list of available commands. Okay, so as you can see, these are some of the commands that you can use. Okay, and you have also options such as graph ql dash dash help. Okay, however, to show help, you need to pass something related to command. Okay, so that being said, you can also check out help on GitHub's GraphQL Clip page. Okay, it shows a list of the command usages, okay, such as GraphQL create, where you can create the directory. Also, there are a few more options for plugin, okay, what type of plugin you can use, etc. Okay, so after you install, you can check out your help command. You can also check out, let's say, GraphQL init for creating your JSON file and also to initiate GraphQL. Okay, so if you have this GraphQL command working, that means your GraphQL is installed on machine.